song lagu Hi, good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another live unboxing show uh, on our Rodan Link Instagram. We hope you've been having a great weekend. And this week we'll be doing something a little different. It's not bikes, it's not the usual accessories. Oh my, but we are going for the car racks. Hey, hello, 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 hello. This is my live show. Okay. Your free time is later. Please, uh, okay, we'll take over, take over. <laughs> okay guys, welcome again. Welcome back to the Rodan Link Live unboxing show. For today, what we're going to do for you is going to be, we're going to show you how you can actually simply transport your bike on a car. And today, what we're showcasing is we're showcasing the bike legs from Sally's Bones. So here, I have two models on the Sally's Bones. This is the Bones 2 and this is the Sally's Bones 3. So pretty straightforward. The Bones 2 carries two bikes and the Bones 3 carries three bikes. And this is a product of America. This is a product from the USA. And this is also made in USA. It's not IC1, uh, as you can see. Here. Yep. So it's probably made in USA. So this is the Bones 2 we're looking at. This is priced at 269. Carries two bikes. It pretty much fits a lot of uh, car models. Later on, I'll show you. We'll go online, we'll go, on to, we'll go on to the website to see what are the compatible models and how you can actually check to see if this is compatible for your car. So there's the Bones 2 at 269. Then we have the Bones EX3. This carries three bikes. As you can see, the difference between the 2 and the EX3 is that it carries three bikes and it has this, uh, this curve over here. So this is going for 379. And the thing about Odaling is that all our products are fixed price. And that is actually a good thing for you. Because why? It saves you the hassle of having to bargain for a discount. But today's special. Today I'm going to share with you a little secret, a life hack on how you can actually earn some savings from your purchase at Rodaling. So all you need, all you need is a, is a smartphone. And if you have a Gmail account, preferably. If not, any other account is fine. So what we're going to do is, let's say, let's say you want to make a purchase at Rodaling and you want to maximize your your savings. So what you can actually do is, you go onto Google, go to our website, just search for Rodaling Singapore. Rodaling SG, that's fine. So you go to our website. So once you're at our website, you notice there's a navigation bar at the bottom, you click onto accounts. Then if you have a Gmail account, allow cookies. If you have a Gmail account, so go to the accounts again. If you have a Gmail account, log in with Google. Okay, just choose your e just choose your email address, and wait for the page to load. Okay, then okay. So once once this page has loaded, it means that you are already registered as a member. It's as simple as that. You can also actually add on the phone number. If you want to be recognized by your phone number, you can add on your phone number. Yeah, so that's all. So the thing is that the thing with the membership points is that how you can actually benefit or the perks of the membership point is that for every purchase that you make at Rodale, when you are going to the counter to make a payment, just mention that you are a member, give them your email address, or if you have already registered your phone on the Rodale membership page, you can actually just give them your phone number. So, the, so when you make a purchase, you get to earn membership points from your purchase. So how the membership points work is that for every dollar spent at Rodaling, earns you one Rodaling point. So let's say if you spend a hundred dollars, gets you a hundred Rodaling points, and that one hundred dollar, one hundred points, it will actually earn you a, a rebate of two dollars, which will actually will earn you a two dollar install rebate that you can actually use it on the next day onwards. And you don't have to rush to actually use the modeling points or to redeem them because the points they are good to last for up to two years before it expires so you can keep accumulating your purchases for up to two years and then later on you can redeem your points so let's say if you are if you're getting this this is 379 if you are if you register as a member you get 379 points 
and that is the equivalent of a six dollars uh, in stock credit that you can use it on the next day onwards. So guys, if you haven't registered as a Rotary member, it's it's easy to do so. Just like this example I showed you earlier on, you just need a Gmail account, go to our website, go on the accounts uh, tab to register as a Rotary member, and when you make your purchase at Rotary, just mention that you're a member and provide us with your uh, email address or your telephone number. So uh, right now. Let's unbox the uh, which one should we go to uh, the boat the three or two one? Uh? Okay, let's go with the three because this is the uh, Bones EX3. Ah, oh, thank you, my brother. Okay. So what you get in the box and this box, this is a recyclable box here. So the rack inside the box comes with the rack. So this is fully assembled. You don't have to you don't have to fix anything. It's ready to use. And they've got a little owner's manual here. Let's just flip through. Yeah. So as you can see, it's probably made in the USA. And I can say Service Bones is one of the most popular, I can safely say it's one of the most popular bike racks. That you go to any bicycle shop, they immediately will know this brand. So if you look at the specification. So it takes up to a maximum of 16 kilograms for, That's for each bike Then, okay, if you have two bikes, it's a maximum of 32 kilograms Then if you have three bikes, it's a maximum of 48 kilograms Yeah, so if you're you taking three, three bikes, it has to be a maximum of uh, 48 kilograms If you're just taking one bike, it's a maximum of 16 kilograms So 48, if, if, you, if you divide that by three Eh, how much are you class? Huh? 48 divided by 3 48 divided by 3 is... Apparently we are not so good with maths huh? uh, 16 16, okay I hope you can bear with us Okay, so 16 So pretty much the same So one bike is 16 kilograms Takes a maximum of 48 kilograms if you are having 3 bikes So these are the, some of the other ad additional accessories that you may need Okay, shows you how to adjust the rack But you don't need to go through all this huh? Because basically what I'll do later on is for today, we're going to show you, we're going to do an actual demo to see, to show you guys how this actually fits on the car. So this one, dummy tag in the box. <laughs> so before we head over to the car, I'll just show you how we actually adjust the arms and the legs. And this service brand, uh, they are really proud of their product that's made in USA. You see, made in USA is everywhere on the product. On the box, on the owner's manual, even on the item itself. Okay, so to adjust the legs and the arms and legs that goes onto the car So we loosen this knob Which angle here Loosen this knob So the outer arm This is the part that, go that goes on top yeah, So you slide it out Slide it back in For now, we, do we just do an aggravation first huh? To estimate like okay where the position would be. Okay. There are times you will need a helping hand. Oh yeah. Okay. So so once you once you position the rack, hand tighten the knobs. Doesn't have to be really tight. Yeah, you can just slightly tighten it because what this knob does actually is just to prevent it from sliding. And then that's a lower leg. And then the support arms Okay, there you have it So this is the part that, that, that actually rests on the car's body So this is the part that hooks onto the bike Okay, so that's it. 
that's the cover. So on each side of the rack, you actually have three hooks. So it comes in three different sizes. There's also, there's also an indication on the hook that says that, okay, which hooks goes to where. So later on, we'll, bring, we'll take this out to our demo car to show you how it, this actually fits onto the car. This one is what material? This is rubber. Yeah, so this is the part that holds onto the bike. Later on, we'll show you, after we, after we install this on the car, we actually show you how the bike will actually fit onto the rack. Okay guys, so this is the Series Bones. The, this is the Bones 3 EX, as you can see, the EX version. It has a slight bend over here. The reason for that is, is because if you have one of those Arbing GT Wing spoilers, this would actually go over it. Uh. And this is also suitable for a sedan. And besides a sedan, it also fits uh, quite a variety of uh, hatchbacks. So guys, okay, if you are ready, let's, uh, I think more or less I'm ready. So let's uh, bring this out. We're going to go to our demo car and show you how it fits. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, today is special, uh, today we are going outdoors. Usually you know, our, for all of our previous live shows, it's always done indoors. But today is different, because I can demonstrate to you, to show you how this actually fits to the car. So today we are going outdoors, and this is our demo car for today. It is not the 10 second car from the Fast and Furious, but anyways, this is a 2015 Mazda Rati 3 hatchback. So this car guys, is powered by a 1.5 litre engine. Produces 180 horsepower uh, and, and this it does 0 to 100 at a crawling pace of 13 seconds. The top speed, uh, don't ask me, uh, it's not even good <laughs> But, anyways, to be, to be honest with you, this is actually a borrowed car. This is, in fact, my wife's car. And she, probably she's watching the show right now, so I have to be very careful. When you're doing this demonstration, when you're installing the car rack, that so I don't scratch the car or I leave marks on it. Because otherwise, eh, we need to go home ready. But the reason why I'm willing to do this is because I have trust and confidence on the features on the service rack that prevents scratches or prevents damaging the car. So I'm going to show you what are some of the features. So as I mentioned, the part that goes to the car, this is rubber. So the, the part that rests on the car, this is rubber, so you don't have to worry about scratching the car. And then there's the hooks on the sides. So the hooks guys, we open up the hooks, uh, let you have a closer look. So these hooks, uh, they are rubber coated. As you can see, it's rubber coated. So when you're hooking this to the car, because the hooks are going to hold the weight of the rack and also the bike that you're going to be installing on the rack. So the whole weight of the rack and the bike will be on the hooks. So this is rubber coated, so it prevents from scratching the car. And if you look at the, all the hooks on the side, three different hooks. And there's an indication on the hooks that say upper, side and lower. So let's, let's remove the hooks first. three or on each side so before anything else we take the upper hook first we shorten the length so this is where you adjust the length of the hooks press this dial press this but this uh this button here so you pull it pulling it until it's shorter so when you put it on the on the car it's easier la. so i'll do the other side as well And we already adjusted the rack, 
but just now the adjustment was just an aggravation of how it actually fits so this is how it goes onto the car So if it's like this, you notice that it's too close to the car's body so you want to shift it back a little bit so to, in order to shift it back a little bit what we're going to do is loosen the top again slide it out releasing out first slide it out go one level down Tighten it back. Same on the other side also. Do the same on the other side. So you see, I'm letting it rest on my body. Okay. And just now we have shortened the top, the top hooks. So this, it says upper, so this goes on top. So when you're when you're when you're uh, installing the rack on the car, use your body to actually hold the rack. So we we move this this goes on top. Take okay, this clips here. So once you have both sides line and then so try to try to put it in a straight line so as you can see this is not straight so we're going to remove it again and make sure that it's in a straight line as straight as possible okay so once you have the top straps installed you don't really have to hold on to the rack up okay so this rest this will rest on the on the glass don't worry about this because the whole bulk of the weight of the bulk and the rack will be actually be rested on the bottom part of the of the of the rack. So for this, this is actually you can turn, you can turn this thing. So you can actually rest it on the bumper. But the reason why I don't choose to rest it on the bumper is because the bumper is off. So we rest it on the boot instead, on the boot door instead. Because the boot door is more is more it's harder. Solid. Yeah, it's more solid. Okay, so as okay, just the strap. Make sure that it's aligned. Okay, then the side. This is this is lower, so we take the side one first. So okay, so this is the side. Okay, so you put it here. If you cannot put it here, you can put it here. Okay. If I can put it here or should I put it here? So how you, it actually fits in, uh, let's say if you want to put it here, you're not able to fit it in, you need to open up the, the car a bit so it can slide in like that. But this part cannot, lah, so I have to put it here instead. Okay, tighten a bit. Then put on the other side. Then put the lower one. Okay guys, so now I have all the straps installed on the car. So as you can see, there's three on each side. So that there's two that goes on top, one on each side, and two at the bottom here. So once you got all the straps installed, you, you tighten it. Tighten it by the by tightening the top one first. Tighten the top one first. Then pull it by the side. You see this one? Huh? We don't want it to be that like that, tangled up. So 
move again untangle it make sure that it doesn't get tangled up okay then the more lower one so when all the, when this is secured so what we're going to do next is adjust the arms the support arms so try to get the support arms as horizontal as you can okay so we are ready now and the thing is that okay where's our demo bike okay guys This is our demo bike today. So what I have here is this is a Siskiyou D7. The Siskiyou D7. As you can see, the Ferris bike bones, the Ferris uh, bones bike, right? It will, it will fit any regular bike. But if you're talking about a full suspension bike like this, there's something else for it. But before we go into that, let me uh, show you something else. I'm just gonna park this here for a while. Let me show you something else. Is that even when you have the rack already installed on your car, you see the reason why we didn't put this to rest on the bumper is because the bumper is soft and we put it to rest on the boot door instead is because that even if the car leg is installed, I have all the steps installed, I can actually still open the car boot. See? Right, so even if the leg is installed, I still have access to the car boot. Right. Oh yeah, mentioning about the additional thing that we need. Huh? Yeah, so we are, we are going to need the bike beam. So that's the bike beam. Right. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to need the bike beam for the CQ. Yeah. So this, later on I will show you how we actually, uh, we, we, we will actually we'll be using this to install the full suspension bike on the service bone street. Okay, so this one just close. Okay. So guys, this is the bike beam. This is $75. So this is an additional accessory that you will need if you're going to transport the full suspension bike. two sides so the bigger side this you press the button here slide it out so this goes to the handle stem or the stereo tube flip it then the bottom part this this is actually extendable huh? so you extend it a little bit release goes onto the seat post and when you are doing this just make sure that the seat post is properly fastened Yes, the seat post is properly tightened because you don't want to put this on the bike rack and have the seat post dislodge on the brake. Okay, so this is the bike beam. So I have the service post three here with me. Let's say if you are if you have a if you have a three bike carrier and you're just taking one bike, you don't really have to put it all the way in. You can actually put it in the center one. So if you notice, there are three steps. One, two, and three. So this holds the top tube part of the frame and this it holds the seat tube part of the frame. So I'm going to use the second one. So if I'm going to use the second one, the bike has to be positioned in this way. So we're going to lift it up. Yes, so you ready rest on the second one. We don't want this to get in the way, lah. So we tidy it up by keeping it locked, okay? So this, slot it in. There's a there's a thing here we can pull. Okay, so this is secured. 
So when you want to release, uh, you press this one, push the thing out. Okay. Then the one that goes on the side goes here to the seat tube. So, so what this actually does is it prevents the bike from spinning too much. But the other thing is that I'm going to share with you a little a little tip. Because if you have like that, if, if your bike is mounted like that, the front wheel uh, can turn like that. So if you don't want the front wheel to turn, but this is the reason why we put it in the second one, we didn't put it in the one that's further most in, it's because you want to avoid the wheels from scratching against your bumper. But if you don't want the wheels to move around, I'll show you a tip. Okay, uh, camera stays here, I'm going to get something. So guys, what I have here with me is a simple bungee cord. You can, this is actually worth like two, three dollars. You can actually get it from your from the general store or those uh, bargain store. So you actually can look this around your front wheel. Look this around your front wheel. Then. idea cheap cheap only you can get this two, two three dollars from a convenience store so it helps to secure the secure the bike so guys this is how it is it's actually fitted on the bike and we are ready to go now as you can see eh, the car back is very sturdy you see the car moving about the back very sturdy right? then let's say if you are going to remove the bike Now you want to remove the bike? Release this one. Release the side. So just lift it up. Turn it out a little bit. Okay. okay. We're going to put this aside for a while. We're going to explain a little bit more on the on the bike beam. So these guys, this bike beam, uh, that if you are creative enough and if a little bit of imagination, uh, they are other explorable uh, ways to actually have quite a bit of fun with this uh, bike beam. Uh. So for example, uh, you can actually uh, like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that your hand too big. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So the rest uh, is up to your imagination. Uh. So guys, today, thank you for watching us. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Thank you. So guys, thank you for watching us. You, we hope that you really enjoy the show. So what we're going to... Uh, and you, you actually have a, a, a better visual on how this actually fits on the, onto the car. So if you have a question about the bike rack, you can drop by our store, drop us an email, or go, to, go on to our Instagram page, drop us a message there on our Facebook page. Last but not least, I've forgotten to show you how to actually check if this rack is compatible for your car. So let's just do an example. Huh? We go back to Google. Ignore the search history. Uh. That, this one is not my phone. <laughs> okay. So you search for Saris. Not Sarin. Sarin is the harmful guess. Okay. Saris bike rack compatibility issue. Okay. Just go for that. So we are now on the Saris website. Does this bike rack fits my car? Okay. Click on that. So we have this find my fit. 
So let's choose. So wait, wait uh. So North America or Europe, we choose Europe. So we select the vehicle model and make. Okay. We've already shown you how we actually fit from the 2015 Mazda Rati, yeah. So let's try another car. Let's say you're driving a, uh, you're driving a Toyota Corolla. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's say you find your make. So there's many different different brands here. No lah, we find the simple one, a Honda Civic. Okay, let's find a Honda. Let's say if you're driving a Honda, you have a Honda Civic. Okay, four doors, four door sedan, five door hatchback. Let's choose the hatchback and choose the year model. Let's say it's the latest one, 2022. Then the one that we just installed, that's a trunk rack. So let's choose the trunk rack and let's find our fit. Then this will actually show you what sort of racks is compatible for your car. Okay, so the Bones EX2 is compatible. The, the Bones EX3, just like the one we did the demonstration today, this is also compatible for your car. So you'll find, you'll find the compatibility chart here to see if the car is compatible for it. So you can go to service.com, go to the compatibility chart, just enter the details in the filter and you're able to find out if the rack is suitable for your car or not. So guys, lastly, I'm going to show you how we actually remove it from the car. Because this is something that's not locked to the car. So it's best after you, when you're going off your ride, best, so it's best to remove this because you can't lock it to the car. So we need to remove it. So we need to remove it. Then, then, the, then the top one, uh, you just lift up the rack a little bit. Remove the top one. You see, it takes, le it takes less than 2 minutes uh, to actually uh, remove the car rack. And probably about 5 to 10 minutes if you're a first timer to install it. So guys, we hope that you enjoyed the show. We hope that you have been informative. That's a marker, the sticker marker. Okay. And be before, be before we end the show, yeah. So this, when it's not in use, you can actually just uh, pull it away. Side cap. Okay. Pull the arms. You can actually see how easy it is uh, after we install it on the bike. How easy it is to remove it from the car. Takes less than two minutes for that. And now. We're going to tidy it away. So this is how it neatly uh, folds into the... You can neatly fold it away. Then... Oh no, not this box. The box is inside. <laughs> yep, this is it guys. Anyway, that's all for our show today. We hope that you had a great time watching. Uh, hope to see you again on the next live show. So, that's all? Yeah, so... I'm just going to leave this here. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the show. So once again, uh, thank you. Thank, uh, thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you again on the next live show. And with that, if you have any comments or questions, do drop us a message. Or you can come by the store to check out on the Cyrus Bones bike rack. And to, 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 to ask questions to see if, uh, if the racks are actually suitable for your car. And with that, we would like to end the show. Thank you guys. Okay, see you again.